Hi everyone. I just wanted to share um, June's kit for um, the Girls Gone Scrappy Kit Club. And this is the album I made out of it. I'll show you it in a minute. I just wanted to show you the kit real quick first. Um, so in the kit, and this was like um, a Tim Holtz themed kit. And here's one of the little goodie bags. Let me get everything out of here. So you got some ribbons, and this one's kind of cool, and it fades into a like a beige. And there's this mustard color, um, some twine, some fibers, uh, a bunch of different chipboard pieces, and every kit is um, different as far as what pieces you got. This one's got like flowers and butterflies, stars, stuff like that, and some little grunge board flowers. Um, no flourishes. Seven Gypsies tag, really cute. It says um, happy everything. I love those. And then in here, let's see if I can get this open. Like I said, everyone's is a little different. Um, all the same stuff, but just different style. There's a little Grinch, Grinchy tag from Tim Holtz. Um, keyhole. That's really neat. A little pin. Some chip pieces. Some flowers. And I'll show you what I do with these flowers later. Um, a bunch of buttons that I got from the antique store. Some antique butterfly charm. Cute little button crown on it, metal key, um, another little flower, oops, well, little fasteners, um, some more chip pieces, brat, oh, the brats are for the hole, oh, and then there is some chipboard and grunge board. And there's the basic one, some stripes, dots, flourishes, um, and then there's two heavy duty chipboard pieces for maybe covers or if you just didn't want to do um, grunge board for some of the pages. And some coordinating papers, kind of masculine but cute. I love the clock one, looks really neat. And the handwriting one's really cool too and a distress ink pad and you'll either get um I think they're all the distressing ones I put in there there's like brushed corduroy um frayed burlap walnut stain tea dye vintage photo um I think is it antique linen and then some of you got black soot or um the faded denim which is one of my favorite ones by the way and then there's also these are antique book pages, and this is from um, an antique store here in town. And yes, I tore apart an antique, but it's just things, so I don't really care. But I think this book was printed, or these two books were printed um, in like 1931. So they're like really, really old and stained, and um, a lot of them have a really grungy looking edge. So I thought those were neat to do a couple of pages with. And then there's just some extra patterned pages. This one looks like typewriter buttons. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the album that I made with my kit. And I didn't even use everything that was in the kit on this album. Um, so there's a little grudge board flourish, the little butterfly charm keyhole, the chipboard um, bird, and I actually, I used this doesn't come in the kit, but I used some studio paint by Claudine Helmuth, and I painted it, and then I used um, the brushed corduroy ink pad and brushed it over it. And then this is um, this flower, and all I did was I took my French handwriting stamp, and I stamped over it. Um, and I'm going to have to do a technique video on how I did this edge, and this is also um, distress ink. I took one of my own distress pads, which is Broken China. And I inked over it, and this is um, the twine that came in the kit. 
I used it to bind the book. And this first page is um, made with the antique book pages, as well as a button and flower that came in the kit. And there's um, the metal key, and some paper, a more antique page. See, I use these book pages almost on every page, I think. And there's a chip piece, some grunge board, little grudge board pieces, and I added staples just randomly on the page. And there's some more grunge board pieces with the flourish and the book page again. I really liked the book pages, so I used them a lot in this book. And there's that button. Oh, and I did something really neat with this button. The tag and staples again. Um, if you look close, the button actually lays flat on the page, but if you look at the button in the kit, it has that um, bottom piece that sticks out. All I did was I punched a hole in the grunge board and I stuck it through. And then on the other side, I punched a hole in a flower and stuck it through and then I used the little pin to hold it in place. So, kind of neat. And then here's another page and I painted over this with um, some crackle paint and Mod Podge. And there's a grunge board piece. And there's that clock paper that I, was telling, that I showed you earlier with um, a book page torn on the side. And there's the last page that I haven't done anything to yet. Um, so, oops. I guess I didn't glue that on there good enough. Um, but anyway, so I actually, I didn't use any of the ribbon that was in the kit, and I didn't use, um, I only used one button, and there was a bunch of buttons in there. And I didn't use any of the grunge board flowers either, even though they're really cute. Actually, that would have been really cute on there if you inked it. But anyway, I just wanted to show you the kit, and next month's kit is, um, basic gray and it's the sugared collection and let me grab some of that so I could show you here is some of the papers I don't know how well you can see it but the papers are so this one's so neat and this one's really pretty too There's that one. I love this one. It's just plain, but it's really, really pretty. And it's called delectable. I like that word. This one's cute, too. There's that. Some cute little pink flamingos and giraffes. Love that. And just some basic distressed pages. It also has um, coordinating chipboard pieces, and it has the coordinating chipboard pieces. Um, you'll get one of these color ink pads, some color box, and then. There'll be some brads in there that match, some fun buttons, ooh, and my favorite ribbon fibers. So there's just a little peek at some some of what's going to be in the kit for next month. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and hopefully later today I'll be able to get some time to show you how to do this um, inking, te inking technique with the distress pads. Thanks, guys.